Hello YouTube viewers, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today and today I would like to share with you an idea that I have for the gigantic dollhouse. The gigantic dollhouse that you all know about has a hidden area in this section here. This is actually a window that I'm going to convert into a door but when you look inside you can see a little bit more now that crown molding that you see there looks like a door and it isn't but it's behind the bathroom i'm going to add a knob to it just so it could look like it opens but more over to that side is the little girl's room and if i point to that side in there it leads to the master bedroom and there are some stairs back there so this wall was plain there was nothing there and what I wanted to do is which I already did I took some of that my designer paper I cut it up it was a challenge because there's not much room in here you know to put a big piece of paper I actually had to do it through the girls room and feed it through here but it was a challenge because I had to like cut it exact but it worked out this beautiful paper now this beautiful paper is beige so as you notice there there are two little brown panels wooden panels now there is a reason for that I want to use this wool for any picture frame any portrait that I want any painting but I want to be able to change that I don't want it to be permanent I don't want it to ruin the paper so what I did was I took two pieces of little woods, pieces of wood, and I took this adhesive double-sided tape. These are little squares that they have at the Dollar Tree. See them? See that they're so thick? I was able to place uh, one that I cut in half for just one of those panels, place them in the back, so that I can place the two little frames like that. Now what I want to do is, I'm going to show you something here. See this piece here? Anytime that I have a portrait or a frame, anything to place on that wall, I have to make sure that it fits within the dimensions of this piece, right? So what I'm going to do is, let's say this is a painting, whatever it is, right? I'm going to be able to feed it through here and the two little pieces of wood will hold it in place look at that so pretend that that is the portrait right the painting it's not aligned but okay now it's aligned wait it's not aligned over here but that's a matter of just fixing it but see the idea so those two little pieces of wood will hold any frame, any portrait, any painting that I place on that wall. Because as long as I keep it within the dimensions of that cardboard that I show you, it will fit. So you see what I'm saying? So if you have an area like this in a dollhouse and it's a little uncomfortable or a challenge to get in there and you want to switch up the paintings, right? The portraits so this is a way of doing it those two pieces of wood will be there forever and they're just affixed by those little squares that I showed you and these you can get at the Dollar Tree so yes the next time that I show you this area there will be something else in there and it'll be easy to slide back and forth and out see what I'm saying Look at how easily I removed it. And that's ready for the next portrait or the next painting. So I hope that you have enjoyed this idea. And I will be back with more because I still have to work on the porch, the balcony that's going to go on there, the columns. So I will be back. Hope that you have enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.